PM10s and PM2.5s are often quoted when talking about air pollution. But what actually are they? Well, they actually refer to the size of particulate matter. These are microscopic specks of air pollution which are actually divided into three categories. There is coarse dust, which are the particles which are the PM10s, which are between 10 micrometers and 2.5 micrometers in size. The fine dust particles, or the PM2.5s, are from 2.5 micrometers down to 100 nanometers, and the ultrafine particles are those of less than 100 nanometers. Of these, the fine dust particles contain things like elemental carbon, organics, ammonium sulfate, ammonium nitrate, and sodium nitrate. One of the key sources of these dust particles is pollution from vehicles, be that from exhausts or from tyres and brakes, etc. But also there's industrial processes, residential heating and cooking, and some other sources contribute significantly to these amounts of pollution. Key source of the ultrafine particles, though, comes from diesel engines, specifically. So, the reason why these particulate matters are actually important is that these particles are so tiny, they can fairly easily make their way into the lungs, as they're too small to be generally filtered out by the body's natural filtration mechanism. The fine dust particles can actually make their way into the vulnerable gas exchange parts of the lungs, and the ultrafine particles can even make their way through the membrane and into the body systems themselves. The health implications of these particles can be very serious indeed, including an increased risk of lung cancer and of heart attacks. That's why particulate matter, or PM, are really important as far as air pollution is concerned.